So that's the scrambling egg thing. My left hand now is the bowl. I'm gonna flex with my right wrist. I close my ring finger into a fist, turn my knuckles to face inward, and then my knuckles face forward again. Hey there, in today's video, you are gonna learn the correct way to use your reins to get your horse supple and soft. This video is for you. If your horse is strong or stiff, you can't get your horse round, your arms hurt at the end of the ride, or you're just not really sure what to do with your reins in order to get that nice, soft, supple neck that we want with our horses. This concept of scrambling eggs has helped hundreds of riders. I cannot believe the response that we have gotten from our students about how much the scrambled eggs analogy has helped. And my husband is gonna be explaining it in today's video because he's the one that invented this whole thing. Also, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. I make new videos every single Wednesday. And check out the description box. There is a contact and connection worksheet and webinar for you to help you out even more. I hope you enjoy this one and let's get to the video. Today we're gonna to try and explain a little better about the scrambled eggs because questions have arisen. I'm gonna explain how I got there and why I got there. When I first started to ride and I heard about keep your hands still, keep your hands still, my hands were still, but my elbows were not. I looked like a bird taking flight because you know there's motion in, in the trot and the canter. But my hands were still, boy, I kept my hands still right there above in front of the withers, but then my elbows followed the rhythm of the trot. Anyway, years go by, I get that better, but then my arms are completely stiff. I know that because I've been riding about 12 years and I took a lesson with Albrecht Heidemann and he put his hand on my forearm and he goes, oh my God, he was just, he was, he was not impressed with how strong I was holding the reins. So he taught me how to supple my forearm and keep my forearm soft when I'm riding my horse. And then that's really the shock absorber and how you stay supple in your wrist and you supple your horse with a flexible wrist and your ring finger and your flexible wrist and then your elbow. Years later, um, I was making eggs and I was scrambling the eggs, and you see that. So this motion of the scrambling egg, I realized that the forearm muscle was super soft when I did my scrambling eggs. Now, if you scramble eggs with your arm, this exercise won't work. But if you do it like I do with just your wrist, then you'll feel how your forearm is soft, your wrist can stay flexible, and then you'll have a shock absorber to the horse's mouth. So that was where the scrambled eggs came from. Now, it's not exactly the same because when you hold the reins, your thumb and your forefinger are what's holding the rein. And then the suppling is down here, your pinky makes the circle. When I scramble my eggs, my pointer and my thumb are scrambling, but you do get the feeling of that soft forearm. So that's how that all came about. Now I'm gonna demonstrate that. I'm gonna make a three loop serpentine. If Junior here starts moving, this is our new superstar Tico. Anyway, so as I make my serpentine, here I've got, as I go to change the direction, I'm gonna to have to hold my new outside rein in the fist, my new right leg is the inside leg, and then I supple. Now you can't see that in the camera because I'm facing the other way. Hey, we'll try it over here, maybe you can see it better. So I'm going to hold the right rein, right leg is on, my left leg, now my left wrist starts to bend. My knuckles face the side, now they face to the front. And maybe we'll get it from this angle of when. So I've got my outside rein here, see my left wrist bent inward, now my knuckles face front. I've bent my knuckles in, now my knuckles face front. That's my flexible wrist. So now left hand is a fist, right leg. I bend my right wrist, now my knuckles face front. Flex that wrist, my knuckles face the front. Here we go. Outside rein is a fist, inside leg to that outside rein, and then I bend this left wrist. Now you'll know it's working if you can let go of the rein and the horse stays bent around your left leg. So there's my wrist bending, I've let go, he still looks left. So I have in my left leg into my right rein. 
and we'll do that again. He'll spook from the tractor next door. So there's my wrist bending, and there it's straight. So I still have a straight line, my elbow to his mouth, and ho. Oh. So when I supple that, so there's a straight line, my forearm in the rain, that's a straight line, elbow to mouth. When I bend my wrist in, I still have that straight line, and then I go because he gave. Bend my wrist, still a straight line, and I give. What we see a lot when we teach is this maneuver. My hands are very still, but you'll notice the horse is now very stiff as well, you know. And then we also see this maneuver, which makes the horse fall off the line of the circle. Outside reins turn horses. Come on, Junior, sorry about that. Let's try it on a little bit bigger again. So we turn our horses with the outside rein. I'll do it here. This is what happens when you turn your horse with the inside rein. That hand's across the neck. I no longer have a straight line, and now I'm stuck in the corner. My line of travel was over there, and I've fallen off the line of travel because my inside rein came across the neck. So, we'll do it the right way for comparison. And there I was doing the supplement with that left rein and holding in the right to get him around. So, as I make the corner again, so my left hand's on the left hand side, right hand's on the right hand side. I can actually give this rein and he still makes the turn and stays on the line to travel. And that is why we have straight line, elbow to mouth, when we ride, and we don't do this stuff over the neck. <laughs> anyway, hopefully that was helpful.